What's up, YouTubers? Today we're going to talk about the Kershaw Link. Very briefly on this particular one. Um, this is a made in the USA knife, and I actually gave it away some time ago. And uh, actually, I love it when a knife gets a chance to come back around to me after some uh, heavy use. You can see this particular one has some nice, great use on it. In fact, it has come back to me to uh, rework on that edge. Uh, so this is an M9, M390 steel knife. And uh, they 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 did they only made it for a small time, but then they went to the 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 twenty CV steel, which is basically a composition I think nearly identical, and then that one kind of ran out. But it does seem as though they they have Kershaw has the link as a platform for kind of doing some different metals. The reason I gave this particular knife away is because it utilizes the speed safe, and I I didn't really like that. Um, if I was going to go and have to fight with um, a, a return one-handed, I'd rather have it just be a continuous pressure back. And the speed safe, of course, you, you know, it, it, it deploys it very fast, so the action's great coming out. But um, you end up with kind of these series of steps. Uh, and that was one that I just I kind of wanted to, something else, and really manual knives. And, and I, I later found the bare knuckle, and that's why I kind of gave this in a way. It was kind of a better slicer anyway. So um, so this particular knife, I think, cost me at the time. It was like $90, and it was an M390 steel. It was the very first one I bought an M390 um, because I wanted to know what it was like to sharpen it. Uh, I do sharpening on the side. And uh, so I wanted a knife that wouldn't that I wouldn't destroy that was maybe a little bit more pricey. Um, a lot of them at the time definitely came at a higher price. So uh, in terms of comparison knives against the Link, I, for me, again, uh, the two that kind of solidified that I did want manuals and... Um, not the speed safe was the the copper natrix, um, so it looks it, it's kind of a very similar profile. Three point two five inch blade. Um, this is a three point two five inch blade. By the way, weighs four point seven ounces and uh, has the M three ninety steel. Um, but then the the Kershaw bare knuckle. This one really is the one that solidified it for me. In terms of, I did want that little bit bigger blade um, for this particular model. Most of mine I prefer three point two five inch, but this one actually just met the needs for that. So. That's kind of some comparison knives, and that's why I really gave this, this blade away. But I never did give it a, a proper review. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just take care of that now, and then get it, get this thing sharpened and back out the door for uh, Jovi's Mechanical so that he can use this. Um, yeah, th this definitely got a lot of use on rubber, um, like rubber and plastic services, commercial refrigeration gear. And uh, so, yeah, this one definitely took a lot of chips. Uh, he did make mention that this blade lasted a lot longer in terms of sharpness. Uh, than most of his other ones so that would be one of the pros is the great m390 steel on this one and uh, obviously the speed safe makes it for a very you know very fast and very easy and, and assured deployment um you know but for me that's also kind of one of the negatives as well um you know has a nice snap sound it's very secure very comfortable in the hand this one it, it fits a medium large hand relatively well and uh it was definitely very comfortable and i really had no major problems with it Blade shape was, uh, you know, basically pretty much all belly. Uh, most of the use in this kind of a cutting fashion that was uh, used, got it up to here. So it's dull up to about right there. And then actually this retained the sharpness that I had on it. Um, you know, th this is a ambidextrous knife in terms of you can change the, cup, the pocket clip over, anodized aluminum on the outside of of these, uh, the, the steel um, liners for this liner lock. And, uh, you know, I just, wasn't a huge fan of it with the speed safe in retrospect now it's it's kind of fidgety but i just i don't know i feel unsure about that so for me obviously on the con side is that speed safe it's it definitely had its time in assisted uh you know in the, in the assisted world but for me i just don't need that anymore if i my state has a legal carry for automatic so i'm just going to go with an automatic for that for that purposes, ProTech or, you know, even Kershaw's, some of theirs. I have a Launch 13 and Launch 11. I like, love those very much, actually. I use the Launch 11 a ton. Um, so on the con side, it is that speed safe. It just kind of has a strange return, and it really is safest just to do two because it has those series of steps coming back. Um, and it's a very heavy knife, 4.7 ounces. So the carry is kind of thick and chunky. Um, you know, these other two knives that I have are, are just, they're just much thinner. Oops, drop that. You can just see the copper natrix and then the bare knuckle as well is uh, next to that. Just a much, much thinner and just a super much lighter carrier um, with the subframe lock. So really it was a preference thing, um, but I do think that is a little bit kind of a heavy chunk. 
of weight. You know, I don't really have any other major cons about it. They they, they did do a nice uh, stone washing on the blades, so that it actually I forgot that on the con or the pro side, but um, yeah, it did. It actually maintained a pretty good um, stone wash there, so it took some serious beating and scratching on the ground. The anodizing has worn pretty well. You know, I know that this thing gets kind of thrown on concrete and slid around and that sort of stuff. So, is it a good worker knife? Yeah, this one's ready to go to work. And that's, I think, who would use this. as somebody who really wants to beat up on a knife. Um, not too expensive, $100, some good steel. I can slide it across the, uh, the garage floor uh, without really much worry or concern about that. So, I think in that context, it, it is a really good knife. Um, it's just not a knife that uh, was good for me. So, hope you did enjoy this. If you did, like and subscribe and have a great day. Take care now.